It's a great honor to be with President Kagame. And we have uh, had tremendous uh, discussions on Rwanda. The job they've done is uh, absolutely terrific. We have trade with Rwanda. Uh, and just general, I would say, great relationships. Uh, I want to congratulate you, Mr. President, uh, as being the new head of the African Union. That's a great honor. This was just announced recently, and uh, that really truly is a great honor. So please give my regards. I know you're going to your first meeting very shortly. And please give my warmest regards. But it's an honor to have you as a friend. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Well, it was a great honor to meet uh, the President of the United States, uh, President Donald Trump. And uh, we had good discussions uh, on those two levels. Uh, the, bilateral relations uh, between Rwanda and the United States. Rwanda has benefited tremendously uh, from the support of the United <coughs> States in many areas where it is in peace support operations we have carried out in different parts of the world. We had the United States on our side supporting us. They have supported our economy in trade, investment. We see a lot of uh, uh, Tourists from the United States, visitors sure. coming to Rwanda, and uh, President, I wanted to thank you for uh, the support you have received from you personally and the administration. And uh, we are looking forward to also working with the United States at the level of the African Union, where we are carrying out reforms at the African Union so that we get our act together to do the right things. and. That helps in cooperating with the United States. Uh, it would be more beneficial when we are organized to know what we want from the United States sure. for that cooperation. So I thank you very much. Well, I thank you very much. And it's a great honor to have all of you here. And uh, we'll speak for a little bit longer. And thank you very much. Thank you. It was good. Mm. This is a hell of a dinner. Well, I want to thank your eminence. This is really great to be with you again. We love it. Governor Cuomo, a great senator. Hi, Chuck. He used to love me when I was a Democrat, you know. <laughs> Mayor de Blasio, wherever you are, where is Mayor de Blasio? Huh? Hello, Mayor. Come on. See, in the old days, I would have known him very well, but I haven't been doing so much of the real estate anymore. And I want to thank uh, Al and Nan Smith. Uh, just a fantastic job you do with the dinner, and congratulations on a record. Over $6 million, right, is their record. And a special hello to all of you in this room who have known and loved me for many, many years. It's true. The politicians. They've had me to their homes. They've introduced me to their children. I've become their best friends in many instances. Uh, they've asked for my endorsement, and they always wanted my money. And even called me really a dear, dear friend. But then, suddenly, decided when I ran for president as a Republican that I've always been a no-good, rotten, disgusting scoundrel. And they totally forgot about me. But that's okay. You know, they say when you do this kind of an event, you always start out with a self-deprecating joke. Some people think this would be tough for me, but the truth is... <laughs> true. True. The truth is, I'm actually a modest person, very modest. It's true. In fact, many people tell me that modesty is perhaps my best quality. Even better than my temperament. You know, Cardinal Dolan and I have some things in common. For instance, we both run impressive properties on Fifth Avenue. Of course, his is much more impressive than mine. That's because I built mine with my own beautifully formed hands. 
Well, his was built with the hands of God, and nobody can compete with God. Is that correct? Nobody, right? That's right. No, no contest. It's great to be here with a thousand wonderful people, or as I call it, a small, intimate dinner with some friends. Or as Hillary calls it, her largest crowd of the season. <laughs> ah, this stuff. This is corny stuff. I do recognize that I come into this event with a little bit of an advantage. I know that so many of you in the Archdiocese already have a place in your heart for a guy who started out as a carpenter working for his father. I was a carpenter working for my father. <laughs> True. Not for a long period of time, but I was for about three weeks. What's great about the Al Smith dinner is that even in the rough and tumble world of a really, really hard fought campaign, in fact, I don't know if you know Hillary, but last night they said that was the most vicious debate in the history of politics, presidential debate, the most vicious. And I don't know, are we supposed to be proud of that? Or are we supposed to be unhappy? But they did say that, and I'm trying to think back to Lincoln. I don't think they can really compete with that. But the candidates have some lighthearted moments together, which is true. I have no doubt that Hillary is going to laugh quite a bit tonight, sometimes even at an appropriate moment. And even tonight, with all of the heated back and forth between my opponent and me at the debate last night, we have proven that we can actually be civil to each other. In fact, just before taking the dais, Hillary accidentally bumped into me, and she very civilly said, pardon me. And I very politely replied, let me talk to you about that after I get into office. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. And Hillary was very gracious. She said if somehow she gets elected, she wants me to be, without question, either her ambassador to Iraq or to Afghanistan. <laughs> it's my choice. But one of the things I noticed tonight, and I've known Hillary for a long time, is this is the first time ever, ever, that Hillary is sitting down and speaking to major corporate leaders and not getting paid for it. It's true. It's true. It's true. You know, last night, I called Hillary a nasty woman. But this stuff is all relative. After listening to Hillary rattle on and on and on, I don't think so badly of Rosie O'Donnell anymore. In fact, I'm actually starting to like Rosie a lot. These events give not only the candidates a chance to be with each other in a very social setting, it also allows the candidates the opportunity to meet the other candidates' team, good team. I know Hillary met my campaign manager, 
and I got the chance to meet the people who are working so hard to get her elected. There they are, the heads of NBC, <laughs> CNN, CBS, ABC. There's the New York Times right over there and the Washington Post. They're working overtime. True. True. Oh, this one's going to get me in trouble. I... Not with Hillary. You know, the President told me to stop whining. But I really have to say, the media is even more biased this year than ever before. Ever. You want the proof? Michelle Obama gives a speech, and everyone loves it. It's fantastic. They think she's absolutely great. My wife, Melania, gives the exact same speech. <laughs> and people get on her case. And I don't get it. I don't know why. And it wasn't her fault. Stand up, Melania. Come on. She took a lot of abuse. Oh, I'm in trouble when I go home tonight. I'm, she didn't know about that one. Am I okay? Is it okay? Cardinal, please speak to her. I'd like to address an important religious matter the issue of going to confession, or as Hillary calls it, the 4th of July weekend with FBI Director Comey. <laughs> now, I'm told Hillary went to confession before tonight's event. But the priest was having a hard time when he asked her about her sins, and she said, she couldn't remember 39 times. <laughs> nah. Hillary is so corrupt. She got kicked off the Watergate Commission. How corrupt do you have to be to get kicked off the Watergate Commission? Pretty corrupt. Hillary is and has been in politics since the 70s. What's her pitch? The economy is busted. The government's corrupt. Washington is failing. Vote for me. I've been working on these problems for 30 years. I can fix it, she says. I wasn't really sure if Hillary was going to be here tonight because I guess you didn't send her invitation by email. Or maybe you did, and she just found out about it through the wonder of WikiLeaks. <laughs> We've learned so much from WikiLeaks. For example, Hillary believes that it's vital to deceive the people by having one public policy and a totally different policy in private. That's okay. I don't know who they're angry at, Hillary. You're right. For example, here she is tonight in public pretending not to hate Catholics. <laughs> now, if some of you haven't noticed, Hillary isn't laughing as much as the rest of us. That's because she knows the jokes. And all of the jokes were given to her in advance of the dinner by Donna Brazil, which is — everyone knows, of course, Hillary's belief that it takes a village, which only makes sense, after all, in places like Haiti, where she's taken a number of them. Thank you. I don't know 
And I don't want this evening without saying something nice about my opponent. Hillary has been in Washington a long time. She knows a lot about how government works. And according to her sworn testimony, Hillary has forgotten more things than most of us will ever, ever know. That I can tell you. We're having some fun here tonight, and that's good. On a personal note, what an amazing honor it is to be with all of you. And I want to congratulate Hillary on getting the nomination, and we're in there fighting. And over the next 19 days, uh, somebody's going to be chosen. We'll see what happens. But I have great memories of coming to this dinner with my father over the years when I was a young man. Great experience for me. This was always a special experience for him and me to be together. One thing we can all agree on is the need to support the great work that comes out of the dinner. Millions of dollars have been raised to support disadvantaged children, and I applaud the many people who have worked to make this wonderful event a critical lifeline for children in need. And that we together broke the all-time record tonight is really something special. More than six million net, net, net. The Cardinal told me that's net, net, Donald, remember. We can also agree on the need to stand up to anti-Catholic bias, to defend religious liberty, and to create a culture that celebrates life. America is in many ways divided. Thank you. America is in many ways divided like it's never been before. And the great religious leaders here tonight give us all an example that we can follow. We're living in a time and age that we never thought possible before. The vicious barbarism we'd read about in history books, but never thought we'd see it in our so-called modern-day world. Who would have thought we would be witnessing what we're witnessing today? We've got to be very strong, very, very smart, and we've got to come together, not only as a nation, but as a world community. Thank you very much. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you. The U.S., when they borrow money, they're getting it in 1.5, 1.9 interest rate. Africans, when they get the same amount of money, they're paying 9, 10%. The people who don't need a break, they get a break. The ones who need a break, they don't get a break. The sheer survival of the World Bank IMF is based on the fact that African countries and, and many other developing countries do not succeed. Their success is based on our failure. That has to change. And guess who can make that change? We the children of Africa, we, the Africans, are the ones who have to say, we know your game now. Enough is enough. We're not playing it anymore. And this is where the diaspora come in. There are more Ghanaian doctors in New York City than in, in the entire country of Ghana. There are more doc Nigerian doctors in LA than in the entire country of Nigeria. So let's be serious here. What Africa needs is capacity, capacity, capacity. And that capacity is in the diaspora. So it behooves us to bring the diaspora together. Let them understand what is really going on in our Africa. Diaspora are not going home. Diaspora are angry about Africa because they are not understanding the root cause of why Africa is where it is today. They think getting rid of a president will take care of the problem. Far from it. That president is just going to be replaced by another one who is going to equally suffer from the same difficult environment to work in. So let's look at an Africa that must be free to take care of herself, an Africa that's free from exploitation from outsiders. The multinationals who are stealing from Africa every day in broad daylight. I use an example of the DRC. If you ever fly very low over the DRC, you'll see tarmacs in the jungle. You'll see 747s flying into DRC, picking up minerals and flying right out. The same multinationals are responsible for arming young people and giving them MK-16s. Because why? Their satellites in the skies are telling them where that village is. There's, there are lots of diamonds. So what do they do? Arm young people, drag them up, and send them to go chop off a few heads. The rest of the village runs away so they come behind and do their illegal mining. 
we black people must understand what is really going on. Because what we are shown instead is, oh, look at those Africans killing each other. There are some serious games that have been played in Africa for far too long. And once we understand that, we can strategize as to how we can begin to bring the difference and bring the change that Africa needs. And that change can only come if the African diaspora are united and the Wakanda villages, as I call them. It is our organized way of saying, starting with one African diaspora center of excellence, it will be a new city, a developmental hub that we can then take from there. Every sector is developed. Take healthcare. How many doctors do we need in this region to take care of this many people? We pick up education, same thing. We pick up engineering, we pick up electricity. How many megawatts of power do we have in the region? How many do we need? Be it solar, be it wind, be it hydro, be it geothermal, be it nuclear. We were singing, when you were singing, the masters of the field were coming. We are boys are coming. The masters of the field are coming. We are boys are coming. To win the race, to win the race, we trust in God, we trust in God. To win the race, we trust in God. And that's for, God. And that's for Opoku, right? Masters mm -hmm. are coming. Masters are coming. Mm -hmm. Masters are coming to win the race. Oh, 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 oh. Masters are coming. And then they will sing. Prepare the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prepare the world. Yeah. Then we go more. Then we we'll keep quiet. Mm -hmm. Then we will sing. Ah, when they tire, they will come in. Mm -hmm. Diplo, Owens. Diplo, Owens. Are we the We have to win the race and take a cup. We are the masters of the field and best athletes. Famous to all and decent boys, how would you prove? Then they will start. I've been quiet. I have a I have a my to oh, 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 because e levy problem no a e simple now Ghana government is on person or TSA in Tina you bet you much then no what TSA ye it was your for 2020 IMF ma Ghana one billion dollars billion with a B same year no World Bank ma Ghana 430 million dollars Nina for COVID in 2021, no, IMF for some Magana, one billion dollars bill. One billion with a B. Now, World Bank for some Magana, 130 million dollars. In 2021, no, so one billion, 130 million, yeah, if he World Bank buy, any IMF buy, no. Now, we'll say post COVID. Rejuvenation program say what be ma young economy no so into no World Bank and IMF this is Ghana ma Ghana Ghana government core Bank of Ghana koyi 20 billion cities say COVID in T Nebuchadnezzar for what World Bank ama mu 2 billion uh IMF ama mu 2 billion World Bank ama mu 560 million dollars for COVID I know on some Musan call Bank of Ghana could eat 20 billion cities. Say COVID in tea. Say I see can we move home content training here. And I won't move. We'll move here. Baby, I will be for Ghana. He levy tax. We call ports. He levy. We call airport. We call hotels. But what they are to to be beer as for Ghana. He levy. He levy. He levy. Say I see can he na fa petrol. He levy. We call union ma port. He levy. Says he can hear now, far now. In this, a ne government person or tray and say Ghana for a be a yard during a year, Jumentina or de sa eleven or by yes, you perceive a tray government to say, and you say, I do in your jumo, ye who never cosono near Jai Amano. If you say, who per se wound ya eleven young, ye are responsible citizens, young per se, ye 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 stand by, yet Jina Hoke car, ye train fire. Or no, okay, see, I see a responsible citizens, right? Into yeah, yeah, responsible citizens. Now, the thing is, so what per se would free sika not would the year be because young credit rating record former and yeah, young abra bought now the e levy barber to so 
adenti because there is over three almost three billion Ghana cities a record to the presidency three billion Ghana in detail so by 75 percent what also by 75 percent I would say by 375 million dollars 375 million civil and not at the presidency you don't need three billion Ghana cities going to the presidency then now what are you Mr. Kufuado and the Nekoso war presidency then the Moody Sikani a presidency war Moody a den Moody Shu Sruku and our den the Moody legislature let Ghana legislators you have 275 legislators then that's our legislators no why am I Ghana say say minimum can say hey Ghana free you bet me after I install it Watson IBM computer or friend is Watson no ah a year artificial intelligence a every year nine over 90 percent of young parliamentarians no you bet me a replace one with Watson Watson computer by way Juma now yen down scale I then you hear 275 parliamentarians out then we are Magana one liability to Ghanaians in a year over 100,000 cities every month per parliamentarian 100,000 cities kona ko bun kunta na he eno echi wo wo judiciary judiciary he america ye 330 million people 11 times the size of ghana ghana ye 30.8 million america wo nine supreme court judges ekufuado ba na nsin ghana near wo 10 supreme court judges ekufuado our point eight I can In to say, say Ghana, 30, a, a country of less than 31 million people, no, yeah, what 18 Supreme Court judges. Then, ne how young 18. Then, na I think young now just a cronger will be seen now. Ghana, ne won't see here Supreme Court judges. Then, ten year old Supreme Court judges. A country of less than 31 million, 18 Supreme Court judges. Ka, ka, one Supreme Court judge, be a no liability April hundred and fifty thousand dollars hundred and fifty thousand cities a month corner kubun kunta he ne v8 ordered them ne bodyguards ne ne driver ne 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 krone ba deng in ti ni yafa an extra eight supreme court judges and nun kwan cheng se si ya minimum ka se ya wo 34 eh wo friend deng eh ambassadorial post around the world 34 Vatican City ah e wo room kra ye wo ambassador wo ho den na ambassador wo Vatican City ye magana mon kan kire ye nge aden ne wo ambassadors wo be bit say Malta nom ne wo friend den Sri Lanka se Sudan nom ne ade den o come no ye ne ade buy ntin ne ye wo ambassadors wo Sudan it doesn't make any kind of sense say wo re e levy what is this Yes, some were uh, 58 uh, uh, diplomatic missions around the world. Diplomatic mission, no, and Kahun Fasuni said, We will trade desk, Eddie the income, commerce, a bread Ghana. So, diplomatic missions around the world, they are 58. Sika Beng, what the bread Ghana. Moon country near here. A year crong waste of money and resource. Musi Muhu, he levy. Ye betcha them will say, He levy, no, Moon Kona Muko, ye infimuamut for two. Positions now, we create a wound in Fasono. E hon na mungo yinfi. A deng na mo hao gana fo sa MPP fo. Deng na gana fo aye munti. Na de biya yenchi ya se, yenchi ya se no. Sa position si na yi wiz. He, wo wo over 2,000 executive positions. Wo wo executive benefits ne perks. Wo tu kwang wo business class. Wo nya 4x4 no mani ya de. Sa ane mani ne si wo yifi ho. Ana wo tel so. E no no be ma yi levi no. Income from eleven, you be near if you hold a mroso mroso mroso. Then necessary you catch there a kufu adu no government. Say sad no, mungo yin if you hold no na mo boka Ghana foka unnecessarily. Na mo be we yin na we na excavate sa unyangu pwa do mi yense yense ang koka ni yenang ni yemfanye sika ni yemfanto yin eleven kason. Mo be catch yense mo akoshi excavate sa eighty five. Excavators are back on year over 150,000 to 200,000. Masa kwashi Na pan on where he yezi. Cop no where he a tin where he are no cop no so a wa bonaka home. Hey, a kufuado and his government. Why? Ghana for 
yam penende impenetina ye levi no wana yes bashan wana no wa kwa free scan was a ba yam pen in a le wakman eh yen mu ba be ku ye be jinamu de nening say yer impene a kufu adu and his government. A ding a ding what say when uh, cluelessness meets unpreparedness no MPP in Funi now be home. Yabram, we're not gonna take this, we're not having this. Mumfa Yam Penina in Penichina Elevenu Ye Chia Munko in Kokat Legislature Munko Kat Executive Munko Kat uh, Judiciary Nasi Kan Ambassadors and the uh, friend uh, uh, Ambassadorial Post and uh, 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 the diplomatic missions. Sanya many now won't cancel, no more reduce, no more for computers in your head. Legislature say you want 275, no. You bet me the drone, drone, I replace one. You hear 275 at the maximum four per region. You hear 64 parliamentarians. You hear 211 parliamentarians, no. Where your liability to Ghana at about 100,000 cities every month. Yen chawung if you ho. Come on, enough of this nonsense. Ye rim. Ye rim. I want your word in class symbol. Okay. Okay. So when we are in class symbol of knowledge, strength, adaptability, uh -huh. energy, freedom, unity, hope, peacemaking, harmony, intelligence, Continue. power of love, strength. Said in class symbols when you know you be a bra, bo be a boy, yeah. Uh -huh. Na the sign, I know a pepper, no. Na yet the aka and in class symbols in a home. Okay. Now, Ghana for Tennessee, I who said, said the another uncle for the Ebu Nemine, Yanija Hall. And see, this is the Edding Class symbol for failure. What? <laughs> it's a free medical. Side in Class symbol. Who spells him? You know, yeah. A card in Class symbol. So. The president is now a free medical. Who spells him? You know, yeah. A card in Class symbol. So. Photo. It's an Edding Class symbol for failure. You are a failure. You are a failure. And I beg you and pay for what you are saying. Yen and Nanuma Motina see here at the in You see, Mumia for we income. This for the in class and both of you. I'm about to hear of this. I'm about to hear of this. I'm about to hear of this. This is what you want to use your life for now. Oh my God. You know what? I am a boy. What can I do? Why? It is a castle. Oh man, you're here, my. Hey! Then I'm a memoir and quiet. Mother. I come to you. 